Next, we're going to uh, discuss root rot. Our favorite root rot of all, Phytophthora root rot. I know we talk about this every year. It is still a major problem because those who had Phytophthora root rot still have Phytophthora root rot. Um, this pathogen is a fungus-like pathogen. It's not a true fungus. It is, in fact, what we call a water mold. Water, mold, water molds produce one of their spore types that swim. They have flagella, so they'll swim around like tadpoles. But if they're swimmers, it means they need, a, they need a film of water in order to move. To complete their life cycle, they have to have free water. So usually when we see Phytophthora issues, it's because there was a water, standing water, overwatering in the nursery, or something to that effect. Unfortunately, in a nursery uh, setting, we put a lot of water down because plants dry out really quickly. But once you have Phytophthora root rot, it is never going to be cured, unfortunately. This is a, this is a soil-borne pathogen, so it, it survives in soil, in wet soil, as a matter of fact. Um, it can affect roots, crowns, or stems, so any of your soil-borne pathogens can come up just a little bit. Um, and because it's a root rot, think that it would smell really bad. You can usually smell Phytophthora root rot. Now, unfortunately, um, oh, and it's closely related to the downy mildews. So if you grow any other types of fruit or vegetable and you know downy mildews, it's closely related, except this one is a true root rot. Um, consider, though, that once Phytophthora uh, has established, it can create another, another type of structure, a survival structure, that it's actually um, survives in soil for many years. So once it establishes, we're pretty much stuck and we can contaminate entire fields for many years. So usually about six years, we tell people, before they would replant. So if you suspect Phytophthora root rot or if you've ever been diagnosed with Phytophthora root rot, Get those plants out of there because you don't want these structures, um, these structures building up in your soil. So this is a pretty familiar looking picture here in Metcalf County, but this is actually a hill. At the bottom of that hill, if you can tell the plants are smaller, you'll see more spacing in between those plants. That was a Phytophthora problem. And as we got to the bottom of the hill, the soil was wetter. And during rains, it was, the water was building up. So therefore, the, the pathogen was much happier in that situation than it was at the top of the hill. These plants are pretty large. Uh, usually your first five years are your, are your most risky if you have Phytophthora. Once a plant gets past that stage, it's usually gonna make it or break it. And you can tell they're stunted. A root rot is going to, of course, rot roots. And without roots, you don't have, you don't have support for the upper plant parts. So you'll see stunting, you'll see a lot of wilting, you'll see reddening. So all of the effects of no root system. So kind of like drought almost, right? Because there's, there's just not that supply chain. This one, I probably would have tested some of the ones at the top. Um, Definitely, I would have gotten rid of everything down that hill, and I would not have walked from down that hill to the upper side. I, I think we came in from like here, so we weren't really walking down there. But in this particular case, those plants look really good, and so they were probably not infected. Um, and it was a really large field. So in this case, I would have probably tested some in that buffer zone and maybe gotten rid of a few you know, a little higher and then just kind of blocked off that part. You know, surely not going through there with my tractor or anything that I could have pulled soil back up. And it wasn't terribly wet. That was the surprising part that once it took hold, you know, just spring rains were, were enough to sustain the pathogen. So they were probably brought in um, infected from the, from the nursery. All right, a little bit more about Phytophthora root rot. I told you it's rotting roots. And if you can cut through some of these roots, you'll kind of see the, the point here of necrosis. So everything here is dead and here is kind of white and healthy. So the pathogen is moving up. And then a lot of this reddening, this is pretty standard for Phytophthora root rot. That's what the upper plant parts look like. And again, stunting. So how do you manage Phytophthora root rot? You turn off the water, increase drainage as best you can Raising beds to that 12 inch level is what's done in the southeastern part of the country. So really high, 
But of course, the higher you build those beds, the more you're going to have to irrigate. And that's the pleasure of blueberries. They don't like it wet and they don't like it dry. They want it somewhere in between. They're pretty darn finicky. But once they're happy, they're really happy. Uh, the soil has to be really light because the heavier the soil, the more clay, the wetter it stays and the happier that Phytophthora pathogen is going to be. Fungicides can suppress. They are not curative. They do not cure this disease. So we have some growers who have, who have Phytophthora root rot. They have chosen to use suppressive fungicides to get a few years of harvest um, and get some of their investment back. Others have pulled them out directly. So that is a choice everyone has to make. There's not an organic product at all, even to suppress. Um, drainage is your best bet. I listed drainage as the first item on the management list and on the last, and it should be every other one. Drainage is absolutely critical at all points of the season. A lot of things work in petri dishes that don't necessarily work in the field. I do not know of a product. Um, I can tell you that at this point, once infection occurs, you're pretty much stuck. Um, a really a re a field high in organic, in organic materials, the Phytophthora pathogens would probably not build up as easily. But once, once infection occurs, this infection is in those plant roots. Um, it, is, it has penetrated that plant. So you need a, a, a fungicide to penetrate through and to reach that pathogen, something systemic. All right, so I have listed here, and I did this for those of you who are going to remain conventional, um, the products that are used to suppress Phytophthora root rot. I've given this to you in years past, but just let me remind you that because Phytophthora is not a true fungus, it is not going to be managed with a traditional fungicide. It has to be a specific product, something specific for these, um, for these water molds. <coughs> All right, um, anybody who has it, we've kind of, who's decided not to pull up their plants, we've, we've suggested a management program, and I just want you to know that that's there for you too. Um, pretty difficult, right? Because if you, after you have the disease, you have to decide whether you're pulling up after this investment or you're gonna hang on and try to suppress and get a few years of, um, a few years of, of, man, of uh, harvest. So if you, wanna, if you wanna weigh those options, let me know. <clears throat> 